part uh, was I there for three years and then I go back to Sweden and then I go back to the United States when God was coming and visited me in my home and told me to go to the United States and there I be teached by Jesus Christ first and then I be under God the Father and uh, very much of what was going on in in the United States and then, uh, even here in Sweden also after I come back to Sweden from the United States uh, was it very much going on uh, with the devil and he tried to destroy me he had tried to destroy me my whole life and uh, he tried also with Jesus to destroy him but he couldn't even if if Jesus had been out and was weak was he strong enough to could say no to the devil to be mob mobbed mobbing and bullying it's the same uh, sort of way that the devil do that's the devil's work when someone bully you so it's no difference you should know that uh, that you are in in the same way as you say uh, directly that the devil uh, doing work on people that God loves but God loves all people so the devil see everyone as his uh, uh, that he want to get to steal from from God so uh, it's not special that you are bullying or uh, that you uh, when you work for in the church and be a, be a pastor this is exactly the same so don't think that is something wrong with you then it's also wrong with the pastors and the church people you are exactly in the same situation and uh, the words that's coming from the it's uh, almost the same uh, if, uh, when you put a red skin and a horn in, in his, on his head now he can be a very handsome man or woman this is serial killer they look very nice they have killed many, many people, but they look great. You want to have them as a husband, as a handsome, sexy. Uh, that's the tool. The, the most uh, greatest tool for the devil is that people look great, sexy her money while speaking flirting give you gifts they do that in the first I say it's the first year they give gifts and take you out on a nice dinners then they relax because they think um, most of the time they have you so they can relax and start to be the real them and don't think that's out in the world because it's in the church also 
And it's not only uh, the Catholic that is the bad. You see that? The little boy there, he knows what's going on. It's nothing. He's not safe in that pastor's with a cross. His hands either. You see his fingers there. The boy look at his finger. Where is his, his finger there? So don't think that it's a special church that where it's going on, bad things. And you know, the, this is also a devil's tool to hit you with the Bible. He said, not open the Bible and read it. He hit you. He hit you that you are not uh, you are telling lies. It's not what it says in the Bible. Because he's, it's not that he have, uh, have come to know you that minute. He have maybe been your friends from the start. The start to talk to you as a friend. And then when he knows everything about you, when he knows your, your weak sides and, and uh, he see that or she think uh, that you are, he have you, that uh, he knows your weak sides and he find out that you don't study the Bible so much, you don't know so much about the Bible. So he can say whatever he wants uh, to uh, about uh, things in the Bible and then hit you. But when, if you should check up what he's saying, it's uh, often is something wrong he's saying because that's not in the Bible. But he, he knows that you don't look in the Bible and check out what he was saying. He knows that you don't know the Bible, so he can hit you with the Bible and bring you down and chase many people out from the church because it's the devil in him. Even if he is a pastor, preacher, he has nice clothes, church clothes, on, it doesn't matter because the devil is a thief. He's coming at night, he's hiding in a, a nice body, nice face, nice fancy clothes, much money. And there is pastors, uh, founders of churches, they don't care about the people. They, they want only coming forward and show up and get your money and not uh, not care about you at all. As I said, I don't feel me okay. Good, 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 they say and run away. They don't listen. They don't care about you. And uh, I have uh, I have write down things here because uh, before I started here I wanted to uh, make some notes. Um, bullying, uh, mobbing, and it's the same wherever you are, in the church or out in the world, in the working place or in the school, wherever. You walk, they slandering about you, those bully people. They don't want to give you information, the withholding of information. Uh, they sabotaging your duties. That's, I have been in many times, they have done that. And I've been working with people. And they're freezing out you. This regrets and neglect you, and they try to instill fear, make you 
we fear everything. Like my sister and brother did in my whole childhood. And um, <clears throat> that's the devil's work, everything this. A supercritical attitude, insults, constantly correct you and tell you that you can't, uh, the language's good enough to talk, that uh, also this, that you are a woman, you can't talk because the Bible says so, but this Bible says not so, that you can't be a pastor when you are a woman, because uh, Paul, uh, Apostle Paul, his daughters was preachers. So that was not what he was saying when he said women should be quiet in the church. He, his daughters was prophets, prophetess, yeah. and uh, prophet. Uh, and uh, and they, uh, the pastor sometimes they told, say to me that I, I was not that from from United States, so I didn't know anything. Or that his, they say to me that you're, I was most in black churches. So they say, you are not a black person. A white person don't know anything. So be quiet. They tell me. And, uh, and then uh, they t uh, want to steal your in identity by calling you another name, that, that I'm disrespectful, not a nice name, disrespectful, put you down, they take away your, your personality, your identity by calling you other names uh, and talking to you like you are in a group that you women are like that, or little girl, or little boy, and in, and in the church, uh, they never validate the feelings you have, never listen to the victim's story, react as the victim is disturbing, a disturbing person, and ignore him or her or, and try to take you out from the church as soon as possible. Say uh, that you are demonic possessed and lay, lay hand on you. And, and you know that in, when they lay hand on you, it can be the devil that lay hand on you. He say that you are possessed. But instead, it's he that putting on himself in you, the devil. So be careful who you ask for to pray for you. Or let not everyone put hand on you and try to and say that he taking out the devil from you. And then he, and then you should know that Satan can be in the pulpit. Often when I have been to churches, I have not been so much in Sweden, but in the United States, they didn't even touch the Bible. Those that I knew was devil in them, the preachers there. They let someone else reading in the Bible because they didn't want to read the words in the Bible. And then also it's very common in the United States to do notes. And, and the bad thing is when you make notes in the Bible because it says in in the Bible, in, in the end of the Bible, that you should not put in words there, uh, other words. So it says that you should not make notes. You, if you 
have to do notes, then you should do that in the extra paper on the side, not in the Bible. That's a disrespect for God's word. Words, and uh, you should read about churches that am um, as a sect, also, uh, and see what this stands for. Many people don't know that they are in a sect, and they the, the bad guys is not uh, not only Catholic church. All religions have bad people, bad preachers, bad church temple people. So that <coughs> and you know that this is often people use this of fear, pointing finger at you, because they don't want people to see them. So it, they think it's best to, to prevent things to happen. So it's better to go to that person and point the fingers. Not, not only the strongest but in a group they can find one that is the weakest and put fear in the whole group by pointing finger at that per weak person because you, he or she is weak and close her eyes and go away and these things showing that this is a powerful person that point a finger at me. And that today have God talking to me. Oh, he's here now. This, the other things I was talking about that was not so much in his heart as it this is that I'm going to tell you. It's uh, so wrong seeing things from the Bible that you don't understand how, how Jesus was talking. Now, I'm going to, you don't need to write it down, it's coming here. Um, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of rightness, and of judgment, of sin because they believe not on me of rightness because I go to my father and you see me no more. And this is uh, first to say and and Jesus say you will not see me anymore. He say why do he say so that they go to his father and you see me no more. That's because Everything he say here, it's in heaven. This is, you don't see me with the worldly eyes. You will meet me one day when, when you go up to heaven, when you are dead and going up. Dead from the wor world here, when going up to heaven. And the uh, if, if I not go away, for if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. What he's talking about here, 
is that he this is what God was talking to me to tell you that this is up in heaven that Jesus is Jesus Christ up in heaven that is our lawyer our advocate that defend us in heaven so when you come in there with much fear that because you will see what you have done wrong in your life uh, when you be judged but the comforter he will be, be with you the comforter is Jesus Christ that's coming and help you in the court because he has been here on earth he has seen the, all the struggle it can be so he know uh, there's love for us people that he try to defend us as much as he can in the front of his father so he's he can't he have to go to have a food to to help us when we are coming there he must be going first going there and then when his uh, apostles coming there he's there and help them to defend them if they have done something wrong in God's eyes so that he not talking about this world because he's talking about the future Jesus uh, you will see that if you open your eyes and you see that that Jesus many times was talking about the future but we people read it as it is now but it's the future our future that our future is in this John 16 7 and 10 that he is there already to help us why should he come down to the earth to when he need to be up here in heaven because he saved as much at least as much people up in heaven as he have done when he was walking in the world because that's the last last because you there is many people that have to go to to hell from the court if if they have not been have this advocate the lawyer that Jesus Christ are and he sit now and uh, he sit them right down in the book the names of people and I suppose he's uh, writing down the defend on on them things they people have done that is right to bring it up to the father in the court so look when you read the bible mm, when you read in the bible look for the direction what Jesus really are talking about if he's talking about the past today or the future sometimes is it for today and sometimes is it for the future this is very very important to understand and that was God was told me today to tell you and then uh, have the devil uh, show me because I have been uh, in the United States I was in many houses with 
Satanist people. But there also was God with me and they told me how to be defend us from the devil when he is around us and jumping on us. And you should always say every day, uh, take it as uh, you do it in the first you do in the morning. And he, uh, lay, the last you do in the before bed so you don't get bad dreams and things. Uh, you say that Jesus' blood is running through my veins and, and clean up everything that is negative. Things that have come in from the devil and Jesus Christ's blood is cleaning up these things so I am in a new person from now <coughs> someone needed that cleaning Jesus blood is the power to destroy the devil thank you He's, <laughs> he's saying things in the secret languages to you, someone that is sitting here and watching this. Uh, <laughs> And Oh, it was very much. I think the devil is here and listen on my videos and watching. And he's talking to the devil now and saying, <laughs> go away, go away. This was very interesting for the devil, this video. I can never show my hair. Asuma, Asuma, Asuma. Hitchover. Hitchover. You are blessed to, to watch this video because God is taken away the devil from your life. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. <laughs> I was thinking that that when I did the video and God was talking to me, that He should show up in the video as he did now because it, when he's already started before I recorded the video <laughs> and I knew that he was showing up so you are blessed and you know 
I love you. I love you all. And God loves you more than what I do. <laughs> we love you both. So you are blessed now. It's maybe not happen directly, but it's going away. The effect of the devil in your life. Amen, amen, amen. Mm.